In yet another effort to forge a hostage release and truce in the seven-month-old war, delegations from Hamas and Israel are back at the negotiations table in Egypt. Well, Israel's close ally, Washington, D.C., which is also involved in the negotiations along with Qatar and Egypt, say that, that it is hopeful that the two sides can close the remaining gaps. Although Hamas officials have warned Israel that the talks in Egypt will be their last chance to free the estimated 128 hostages still held in Gaza. Meanwhile, Hamas official Osama Hamdan has also warned that if Israel's military aggression continues in Rafah, there will be no ceasefire deal. If the aggression continues, there will be no ceasefire because Israelis are the ones attacking and shooting. It is normal for the resistance to respond to this aggression, to respond in defense and to respond in order to defeat the occupation. The latest attempts to achieve a truce in the ongoing war comes at a time when Israel sent tanks into Rafah in southern Gaza, seizing the border crossing with Egypt. In an operation, the United Nations says that it denied access to the key humanitarian passage. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu says that the military's capture of the Gaza side of the Rafah crossing is an important step towards dismantling Hamas. Israel believes that Rafah is where four Hamas battalions are stationed. Well, Tuesday's capture of the crossing, which was one of the main channels for humanitarian aid to the region, puts Israel in full control of Gaza's borders for the first time since it withdrew troops in 2005. According to Israel's Defense Minister Yoav Gallant, Israel will continue its operation in the southern Gaza city of Rafah until Hamas are destroyed in the area or they hand over the Israeli hostages. Yesterday, I directed the IDF to enter the Rafah area, take the crossing and carry out its mission. This operation will continue until we eliminate Hamas in the Rafah area and the entire Gaza Strip, or until the first hostage returns. We are willing to make compromises in order to bring back hostages, but if that option is removed, we will go on and deepen the operation. This will happen all over the Strip, in the south, in the center and in the north. We know that Hamas only responds to force. Israel has brushed off urgent warnings from close allies. Well, the White House says that Israel must reopen Gaza's Rafah border crossing with Egypt. The U.S., which is Israel's main military and diplomatic backer, has repeatedly said that it opposes a major offensive in Rafah where more than 1.2 million displaced Palestinians are living. The U.S. is voicing skepticism about Israel's military move into Rafah after Israel told them that the current operation is of limited scope and duration as well. Now, despite assurances from Israel, according to a local hospital in Gaza City, an Israeli airstrike has killed at least seven people and wounded several others in the city. The strike on an apartment in the devastated northern city killed seven members of the same family. While eyewitnesses are also reporting strikes elsewhere in the Strip, particularly around Rafah. On the other hand, in a bid to provide more humanitarian aid to the war-stricken Gaza, According to the Pentagon, the U.S. military has completed construction of its Gaza aid pier, but weather conditions mean it is currently unsafe to move the two-part facility into place.